All right, so we've designed our website, but I'm sure you can agree with me that this does not look very, very nice, okay? Because this is the default WordPress template. So as you can see, when I scroll around this uh, website, we have this dominant color here, which does not look very great. And when you come over here to courses, we can see here, okay, fine. The courses are showing really well. But if I click over here, you can see that, yeah, we still have that color here in the template and this does not look great. And then when I come over here, now this is quite okay because because at least it's showing all my lessons, which is great. So when it comes to making your online course website look professional, there's several ways that you can achieve this. So first, let's talk about the themes that are provided by Tutor LMS. So over here, I'm on their website and I've clicked here on the link which says themes. And you can see here, we have quite a few to look at. And here's a preview here on the side. And to be honest, I really like this. It's simple, it's very nice. And you can search for your courses here. And over here, we also have this one here, Docent Pro, Language school, Edumax. So there's quite a few that you can uh, choose from and you can just go with the design that you like. Even this one here looks quite nice, actually. Okay, so let's say you want to go with this template. What you can do is you can click here to view the demo or even view more details. So here is where you can actually buy it or you can do a live preview. Okay, so if you click buy now, the license here is $79 for one domain, $149 for five domains. So if you haven't bought a theme yet for your online course, website, I highly recommend that you go ahead and purchase one of these because it's an all-in-one pack. It has all your designs ready for you. It's mobile friendly and you can get up and running really, really fast. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use Tutor LMS if you have your own theme. In my case, I am going to be using Divi and I also have a template that goes with it, which has a pre-designed header and a footer. All right, guys, that's all I have in this video. I'll see you in the next one where we get to set up our website using Divi.